Kids in grade one through nine will get an upgrade to their science classes this fall with new curriculum from the Ontario government. For the first time since 2007, new topics will be brought into the mix, including coding and emerging technology. Students will use the engineer design process to plan and test ideas and prototype innovations, like flying machines and systems that replicate a conveyor belt. Hands-on STEM activities and applications to the real world are the main focus of this curriculum. Ontario students will have the opportunity to get with the times in preparing for the future, connecting science and technology with social, economic and environmental issues. In addition to the new topics, updates will be introduced to existing programs after the province says it consulted with 60 expert organizations and stakeholders. The curriculum updates announced today help to make students more connected to their daily lives through learning such as coding, investigating emerging technologies, energy and the environment and connections to food literacy. The union representing Ontario's elementary school teachers says it provided feedback, including possible revisions to the new curriculum, just five days ago. It said, quote, similar to the flawed rollout of Ontario's revised mathematics curriculum, school boards are left once again to deliver insufficient professional learning on new curriculum on a compressed timeline. The Ford government continues to demonstrate a complete lack of understanding of how school boards and schools operate. We need to have teachers and educators on board so we can implement it in a way that's most beneficial for students. The province says it will be sending an overview guide to parents and teachers outlining the new curriculum and a PA day will be dedicated to STEM as well. More than 100 expectations will be removed from students' workloads, which officials say eliminates redundancies, and that no important topics are being left behind. We're equipping students with the skills that they will need to succeed in future STEM careers, including those in the skilled trades. Meanwhile, Premier Ford was once again on the hot seat today with no federal deal in place to decrease the cost of child care in Ontario. Opposition here at Queen's Park reminding him that the clock is ticking before the end of the fiscal year and, of course, the election. I've said day after day we were very, very close to getting a deal. We are very, very close to getting a deal. But we're going to make a, uh, a deal with the federal government that makes sense to all Ontario families. The reality is the federal government only contributes 2.5 per cent. Only 2.5 per cent, which is, which is staggering. We keep hearing from the federal government that there, there isn't even a plan that Doug Ford has not provided an action plan for implementing the reduction in child care fees in our province. If a deal isn't reached by the end of this month, the province stands to lose more than $1 billion in federal money allocated for this fiscal year. All other provinces have a deal in place. Now, if a deal does come through, it could potentially cut daycare fees in half by the end of this year and reach $10 a day by 2026.